Joe Biden has the worst approval rating of his entire presidency. Kamala Harris, her approval rating is absolutely underwater. It's horrendous. And the reason for that, the reason for both of their approval ratings or their high disapproval ratings is obvious. Biden is presiding over the absolute worst economy based on his choices, in addition to angering the whole country with his botched withdrawal of Afghanistan, in addition to spending so much of our money that inflation is going up, ignoring the shipping container crisis and the supply chain problem. I mean, his COVID paranoia is causing people to lose their jobs and lose their businesses. He's tyrannical. He's issued these unconstitutional vaccine mandates. And those are just to name a few. Kamala Harris, oh, the border crisis. Kamala Harris and the border crisis. Well, let's talk about that for a second. Do you think possibly that Kamala Harris's lack of approval rating is based on the fact that we have a border crisis that is a national security risk that will burden our welfare, that is a threat to the sovereignty of our nation, that is unfair to immigrants, legal immigrants who come here the right way, and she doesn't even deign to visit the border? She dismisses this and refuses to call it a crisis. Do you think, do you think possibly that her disapproval rating has to do with that? Well, no, not if you're Jimmy Kimmel. If you're Jimmy Kimmel, then you accuse um, the American people of being too racist and sexist to like Kamala Harris. Take a listen. If anything can get the American people fired up, it's infrastructure. So, <laughs> and Biden is alone. If Americans really aren't happy with this vice president, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris has an approval rating of 28%, which is makes no sense because she basically has nothing to do. I mean, it's like <laughs> criticizing a backup quarterback. Tom Brady is okay. I don't love the way Blaine Gabbert has his legs folded on the bench. I have to be honest. Kamala's approval rating uh, of 28% is even lower than the 30% who approved of Dick Cheney in 2008 after he shot a guy in the face. I think these people are forgetting that at least 10% of, the, of those polled approved of Dick Cheney because he shot a guy in the face. <laughs> I think I know why Kamala's ratings are low, besides sexism and racism, which are the obvious ones. It's because whenever she's next to Joe, standing near him, behind him, she looks like an assassin. She looks like <laughs> Nebula next to Thanos, ready to, right? Especially with a mask. Oh, we're too racist and sexist to like Kamala Harris. Well, here, here's my question, Jimmy. What about the Democratic primary when Kamala Harris got less than 3% of the total vote from the Democrats, only the Democrats? Only Democrats are allowed to vote in Democratic primaries. Less than 3% of Democrats voted for Kamala Harris. How come? Are Democrats too racist for Kamala Harris? Are Democrats too sexist for Kamala Harris? What could possibly be the explanation for Democrats in the Democratic primary rejecting Kamala Harris? Oh, well, there's a question I don't think Jimmy Kimmel wants to answer because people's dislike of Kamala Harris has nothing to do with her race, nothing to do with her sex. It has everything to do with who she is and what she stands for. The fact that she abuses her power. She's in bed with Planned Parenthood. She targeted David Delighton, an investigative journalist, raided his apartment in California when she was attorney general. She is the most liberal or was the most liberal senator in the United States Senate. And now, what, she, she has a fake French accent on her goodwill toward France? while she ignores the United States border? She complains about work that Biden gives her to do because she just wants to be a star? But we're too racist and sexist, I guess, just like the Democrat primary voters because they know that Kamala Harris is a truly awful individual. The only racist and sexist thing about Kamala Harris being vice president is Joe Biden picking her to be vice president because he picked Kamala Harris, not because she was popular, not because she was competent, not because of her viewpoints. He picked her because of her characteristics because he needed a token woman and a token woman of color to be his running mate in order to win the in order to win the presidency. So there is racism, there is sexism associated with Kamala Harris and it all comes from the left.